Hi, uh, my name is Lane Lee. Uh, today my TED Talk uh, is going to be about WebVR. Uh, all right, let's get started. So uh, a brief overview about what I'm going to be talking about. First of all, I'll explain to you guys what's WebVR and why should we care about it. And then we're going to talk about the state of current WebVR since it's a pretty new thing. And then we're going to go into some codes with A-Frame and demos. And then we're going to wrap it up with the applications of it and more resources if you would like to look at it. So WebVR is a standard that makes it possible to experience VR in many platforms. Currently, VR, you can, there's kind of a restraint that you can only watch it on ocular or cardboard. These uh, headsets are expensive, and it's not very accessible to everyone. What VR, what VR does is that it makes uh, VR contents available for everyone who's got a computer or a tablet or a smartphone. So your audience gets a lot larger. Um, on our smartphone, uh, the gyroscopes and the accelerometers will add as your uh, pointers. And then on your tablets, you can use your uh, touch sensing uh, capability and then your mouse on your computers. So what, v what VR does is essentially embed the VR components into our website. and. Um, It handles various platforms for us, so we don't have to worry about writing C, uh, you know, other codes for other platforms like Oculus. Like we don't really need to care about that, so it handles all that for us. But what the, what WebVR is not is that it's not a game engine or an app. So it's just an API that handles these two things for you. Um, We'll talk more about it uh, with my other slides. So what happens when you experience WebVR, it kind of goes something like this. You start out with launching a Chrome uh, browser, and then when you see a WebVR content, all right, <laughs> you click on the button, and then it'll uh, take you to the VR experience. Okay, so why is WebVR, why do I care about it? Um, people used to think, you know, online shopping can never replace brick and mortars, and then came along Amazon. And then there's people who think that social media was just a fad, and then look at all this. <laughs> and things started to change little by little, and then, you know, my favorite is Bloodbuster. They got, like, destroyed in literally, like, two, three years. <laughs> like, nowadays, Kids don't even recognize what landline phones look like anymore. <laughs> and places like Sears are closing left and right. And there's no more, like, you know, like, there's more than 3 billion users on the web. And why aren't we taking advantage of that? And that's what, what VR does, what, what VR does for us. VR users currently, there's, last year, there was about 6.3 million VR uh, headsets delivered. But when you compare 6.3 million to about more than 3 billion web users out there, that's literally like just sand in the desert. Like it's really not that much. And it's only going to increase because with population around 7 some billion nowadays in the world, three, about 50% actually sounds a little low to me. <laughs> um, so what, what we are, uh, platform does is it delivers content and to a uh, wide audience. Since the web is built with links, uh, the content can be shared easily. And the content you have is low friction, which means that you don't need to download an app for you to enjoy the content, which, is, uh, which integrates seamlessly into your website without having to change too much things. Um, the future of VR is still in the early phase nowadays. It's very new. The concept of WebVR wasn't even conceived till about three years ago. So a lot of stuff is very new. And how I think of, but there's a lot of momentum going into this right now. Big companies like Apple, Mozilla, Microsoft, and Google all invested in it, and they're writing a bunch of stuff for this. There's like content websites out there you can visit. I like to think of WebVR developers as like pioneers in this VR world as like, but for us like. Uh, web developers, we're more like the railroad workers going into the West, kind of in a sense. <laughs> like we're we're gonna be the number of the developers that's just gonna increase the content of the VR. 
So the current stack of web VR looks like this. You have your browsers, currently supported by Chrome Edge and Firefox. And I believe Safari does too. And Firefox actually just started today. <laughs> today was the day they released it, that, uh, the update that supported web VR. So the bottom session is the browser API. Uh, WebGL makes uh, rendering in 2 and 3D works. And then uh, WebVR is a standard that makes VR functions on the web. And you have 3JS, which is used for simple component rendering and the foundation of the 3D math and rendering for our um, uh, libraries like A-Frame and React VR. So the two main ones that are being used right now for the libraries in our app to create web VR are A-Frame and React VR. A-Frame came out about a year and a half ago, while React VR is relatively new. Um, I definitely recommend using A-Frame just from all the forums I read online. It seems to be a lot easier. It's so easy that, in fact, we're going to make a 360-degree photo in less than a minute today. <laughs> so that's going to be my demo. Um, the A-Frame was introduced in 2015. It was released a year ahead of uh, React VR, and it's an open source framework for creating VR experience and HTML, and it uses components. So this is going to be, like I said, we're going to do it in less than a minute. First of all, you uh, import the CDN, and then you create the ASIN, which creates the uh, web VR button for you on the right side of your uh, application. And then you create the ASCII, which is a component that renders the picture for you. And you can just download a picture online of Prague in 360 degrees, put it in your library, and then connect it. And then I use uh, as you can see, <laughs> it's pretty straightforward to create something like this. It's not very hard, and the uh, documentations are very easy to read. So it's always a plus. <laughs> there we go. That was what, like about two lines? <laughs> okay. So beyond the games, uh, when we think about VR, we typically think about games. We don't really think about it as something that we can add to our website. So today we're going to talk about some application that's already being done today. Like, for example, this is an e-commerce uh, thing that you can add to your website where you can browse like clothing on you and you can look around. And then there's always the real estate aspect of the things, which is pretty much the same as what we've done, except connecting with different nodes so you can move around the room. The little circles on the ground are all the different photos, 360 degree photos they took. And you can move around the room. And um, s some websites also have like kind of like a, a migration thing going on as well. Um, and then there's also interactive movies that's coming out nowadays. Netflix announced there's 15 movies that's well that's going to be in virtual reality, which is going to be awesome. And you can watch it from your phone. <laughs> Furthermore, you know, uh, if you want to find out more about this, <laughs> there's uh, a lot of like stuff. Uh, Google had a great, <laughs> I love the one in the bottom. <laughs> but yeah, um, there's several great videos on YouTube you can just look at in your spare time. It teaches you about core corner systems that you can use in VR, etc. <laughs> yeah. Um, and like I said, uh, I forgot to point this out earlier. It really, oh wow. Well, actually, I guess this will conclude my thing because it's not showing up. <laughs> but <laughs> thank you guys. Uh, thank you. <laughs>